these trying times of lockdown, quarantine, and mutation of the virus, where I feel uncertain of my entire being, I found a way to somehow keep myself sane and escape from reality where I am in. Being a plantita is given. To TikTok, thank you for doing an amazing job to my troubled self. To K-drama who keeps me company all day long, come sa Hamida. It started with glory of March 2020. Present time, I lose count on how many K-dramas I have watched. Sleepless nights and the hours I've wasted. As of the moment, I just finished watching Moon Lovers Scarlet Heart Reel, which tore my heart into pieces. And I'm currently enjoying the weekly episodes of True Beauty that is so cute because of Cha Eun Woo. I have listed my fave K-dramas for a guide if you may want to start with it. I categorize each of the K-drama in case you need a specific soap genre. Number one. Dr. Romantic. Hands down to this medical K-drama, and without a doubt, this is simply the best one. The characters that are played by the respective actors are excellently portrayed and cleverly made that you are to like some and hate some. The production is so awesome. It showcases meticulous and precise surgical procedures in each episode. There are a bit of romance in between which are really cute. Romances like those of Dr. Kang and Dr. Yoon, Dr. So and Dr. Cha, Nurse Untak and Dr. Yoon. And oh, let us not forget that Kim Sabu met his long lost love, Dr. Lee, in the last two episodes of season one. Teacher Kim is the epitome of great teacher and mentor, and his character is very enriching. I wish to meet and work and be mentored with someone as crazy and romantic as Kim Sabu. I am out of words to describe his acting greatness. And this guy, it will make you cringe wanting to cut him open using a nail clipper. Mr. Sunshine History The production, the plot, and storyline, the cinematography, the strong characters is beyond words to describe very impressive. And like history K-dramas, this one is not drugging, and each episode ends with a suspense that you really have to see the next one because you do not want to end the momentum. Each of the characters have bountiful journeys. The finale made me emotionally exhausted, and this series really moved my heart. I wish I am go Aishin. Rom-com K-drama with relevant issue about mental health. It's okay, that's love. Kill me, heal me. It's okay not to be okay. Best reality K-drama stories about mental health. The story was delivered artistically by the actors with so much emotion that gives the drama their real life feels. These K-dramas made me laugh out loud and cry like I was peeling a million onions in between. The characters were portrayed maturely and the chemistry between the lead actors are undeniably awesome. It opened my mind that having a mental health issue does not really mean that it challenges the person physically. There are those moments of sleeplessness, hallucinations, anxiety, having multiple personality disorder, etc. that alter our sane mind and we thought we are still okay. Mass to see K-drama, Crash Landing on You, Descendants of the Sun, and Goblin. When you try to start binge watching, better not forget these three. Each of these K-drama has a different plot and story. They are one of the best. How I wish all boys are like <clears throat> Captain Ree. Yu Shi Jin, and oh boy, my man, Kim Shin. Present time, January 1, 2021, Dispatched announced that Captain Ri and Siri are officially dating in real since they started in Gloy and are now on their eighth mastery. My heart is full. Sung Jung Ki and Sung Hae Kyuk met and fell in love in the set of DOST. They announced their engagement on July 5, 2017, got married in a private ceremony on October 31, 2017. June 27, 2019, Sung Jung Ki revealed that he had filed for divorce with Sung Hae Kyo. The divorce was finalized on Ju July 20, 2019. What a sad ending. I know, Gong is still single and waiting for me. <laughs> Oppa! Princess Hours. I do not know how to categorize this one. This is like Santa Al. I can vividly remember this because I was watching it with my siblings. 
I like how their love evolved and how would someone who leaves everything behind for love that we only see in K-drama. It's classic and incomparable, sweet and sincere, and at the end of the day, this love and family that matters most. Also, Yoon eun hae is my favorite Korean actress. She's feisty. My Mr. Heavy Drama. It tells of a middle-aged man and a girl in her early 20s and their life struggles. It shows that a person can always love and care for someone beyond being a friend but are not romantically engaged. This is a heavy drama that the lead characters depict a different kind of bond on screen. I love how they show rawness in humanity, that life is brutal and as beautiful as it can be. It's okay to fall and lie on that empty road for moments that may be as split as blinks in a story and as elongated as all your collective memories flush together. But it's equally important to get up from that lonely path and walk a mile further till you have peace in vision. You don't just owe it to yourself but to all the people too who are connected to you by the unfathomable notion of Chong. Start up. I am not a computer technology geek. I remember how I cheat or make Código string exams in high school. It's a great potential. The character's stories could have been so much better. At the end, they were all reduced to nothing but a plot of romance rather than business, and it became disappointing love drama. Because for me and the other audiences prefer Soo Yoon and Dalmi ending together. But it's still good to watch. Itaewon Class. This soap depicts diversity from color, gender, status, and class. Being different is just absolutely fine and you have to love yourself for what you are and you do not need others' approval and decide on what you will be. To Prex Wujun, the best revenge is to be successful. Record of Youth It teaches its audience that though life is tough, but with perseverance and grit, it is not impossible to conquer your dreams. I <laughs> know. I love you, Gummy Boy! My runner's up because this is my first life, Angel's last mission love, and the smile has left your eye. I find these rom-com soaps so cute and the storylines are just so lovely. It tackles about real life scenarios that would teach us to take life easy and be not aggressive about it. Personally, the lead stars of this K-drama are a few of my favorites like L. Mina, Ngook, Sunmin, and Minty. A lot of words to say. So I guess this is it. Till my next vlog. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Annyeong!